What's going on everybody? We're all in quarantine. So, we are trying to pick up a new hobby. Well today, I'm going to go over two cameras. The Lumos G7 and the Canon M50. You see, which one better for a beginner, YouTuber, photographer, or videographer? Stay tuned. What's up, B team? So, if you guys are new here, my name is Bama Boy and Kelly. Soon, maybe a name change to Central Digital Media for this channel. But for now, it's still Bama Boy and Kelly. And if you're here, you already hit that subscribe button. You, if you hadn't, please go ahead. If you're people who already have, you're already part of the B team. It's never too late to join the B team. It's not, you know, if you've never been here before, B team ain't like you decide, you know, the second team is coming in. The B team, you know what I'm saying? Y'all here. We here. Bama Boy and Kelly B team. Anyway, today's video, man, if you guys didn't saw, I'm using the Canon M50 right now. This is what I'm recording this video with. This is the Lumos G7. You've been in a lot of, uh, you know, talk on uh, the groups and stuff about which camera to get. Um, I started, actually, I started with the phone. Most people start with their phone anyway. I started with the phone, and then I upgraded to the Lumos G7. And then after that, a year later, I upgraded to the Canon M50. So, which one would you use starting out? So, let's get into this video. So since I have it here, I'm gonna start with the G7. Now I'm not gonna go too in depth with the, with the specs and everything and what this camera does. There's plenty of videos for that. I am gonna give you a broad overview to help you get a perspective on which camera will work best for what you're doing. Now, the Lumos G7 is a micro four thirds. If you don't know anything about sensors, that's basically the smallest sensor out of the DSLR family, mirrorless camera, whatever you want to call it. It's basically the smallest sensor you, basically the smallest sensor you can get. Um, it is a micro four thirds sensor. Um, it is a mirrorless camera. Mirrorless means if you've never heard of any of this before, mirrorless uh, DSLRs has a mirror that pops up whenever you snap the, the button, the shutter button to take a picture. Mirrorless doesn't have that. It's just straight through. Um, also, it has an OLED viewfinder. Now, this thing is amazing. I absolutely love this. In my opinion, it's better than the, the Canon M50, but I'll get to that later. It does have a flip out screen, which is very important if you're a vlogger um, or doing videos like this. I can see myself and I'm using my uh, the, the Kinect app, which I'll get to that in a second too. Um, it also is fully articulated, so it's a plus. It does support 4K cropped like crazy insane crop 4k <laughs> the grip on this one is amazing so if you're a running gun that's amazing you can actually take it off the strap if you can still hold it that's pretty good that's a pro in this with this camera um it does have a 4k burst photo option where you can just take a 4k video for a few seconds and take frames from that 4k photo I'm noticing some of this app too, it just shut off on me. Uh, whenever the screen cuts off on my iPad, the app cuts off. Hmm. I had an issue with my, uh, the wing challenge that I did on my channel because of that. Now I know what happened. But anyway, I said they have the 4K burst option, so you want to take photos like that, you can. Um, I'm just going, I got my little notes here, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm going to get it kind of the, the techie part. It's a 16 megapixel sensor which isn't the greatest, but it does take good pictures. As you see, I have some samples here overlaid. The ISO only goes up to 25,600, 25, so it's not crazy low light monster. You won't get crazy low light, but it does do decent. The menu system on this is amazing. Um, it does have a pretty, Decent layout here. I don't even know if this thing is charged. Hey, it is. Okay. So you probably can't even see it here. But it does have a pretty decent menu. You probably can't even see it. It's easy. It's easy to, uh, to navigate. Having two dials makes this a very easy camera to use on the fly without having to have to take it off the thing. And with it being mirrorless, the OLED, it changes as you 
adjust it so you can see what it's going to look like the final picture just from the OLED. Um, and also, if you're a vlogger or you want to use this to make short films or anything like that, it's great for that because it does have a mic. It doesn't have a headphone jack to monitor your audio, but it does have a mic jack, which is very important if you guys are trying to take this serious with uh, vlogging and stuff. Uh, autofocus. Lumos isn't known for that autofocus. <laughs> uh, but it does a job in a good enough lighting situation. Like right now, this is enough light for this camera to do pretty good. Um, it works great for my M50. Like I don't have any issues. But I can tell the M50 in a second. Um, it has programmable buttons you can change pretty much. I think it has 11 function buttons if I remember right. Um, don't quote me on that. But you can change it around however you want to make it easier for you on the fly. It does have manual focus if you guys want. The body itself doesn't have in body stabilization. That is the, probably the biggest con of this camera when you're trying to do vlogging. Um, but the lenses that you can buy aftermarket from this from this manufacturer and other uh, people that like Sigma, that does have in body you know, and stabilization inside the lens. So that helps you out if you, like, if you want to try to get some kind of stability if you don't have any type of uh, gimbal or anything like that. It does have a few uh, burst options for photos. I don't remember how many it is. There's tech guys to tell you all that stuff. <laughs> this is a real life comparison of how this camera is for beginners compared to this camera. Um, I got this camera starting out in my very first picture. It's amazing. It's the first time I ever saw a picture like that. We're all on the quarantine right now. So, uh, <laughs> there's no school. Don't forget the little noise that you hear back here. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> it does have a hot shoe. If you guys can do it, it does have a connection here, not a cold shoe. Uh, battery. This memory card, typical for this price range, is in the bottom. One memory card slot. 4K on this is usable. Like I said, it doesn't have any inbound stabilization, and the crop is crazy. Which is kind of good for any if you kind of have a distance between you and the person, but up close, it's almost useless. Um, at least with the kit lens. I only have three lenses, four lenses for this camera. This is the only one that's native to the lens. The other ones are out the market and they're made. I even got a Canon lens for this thing, so yeah, yes. <laughs> Micro Four Thirds is good for the ability to, you know, adapt all the lenses to a system. You can't go down. But you can go up, you know. Well, you don't want to go down, but you can go up. Um, pros of this camera is great for beginners. It's a great on the fly camera. It's really lightweight. I don't know if I'm my camera too much. But it's really lightweight, really easy to use. Um, you kind of get addicted to it when you first get it, because especially if it's your first camera, it's a, a great way to get into photography and videography. The photos aren't the best, it's a 16 megapixel camera. But it does get the job done. Uh, video. This is. I'm a videographer by choice. If I had a choice to pick one, I would always choose video and photos. That's just me. Um, but this is a video monster more than a photo monster. So vlogging, A plus. Videography, A plus. Photography for the price range, a B, B minus. Um, easy to use, A. Um, accessories like you know mic jack and all that stuff, A plus. So, yeah, would I recommend this for beginners? Yes. Now, to get to the Canon M50, I'm using it so I can't show you anything on it, but okay, it does have a flip out screen. It does have an OLED. It is mirrorless. It does have a mic jack. It does have 4K cropped. It does have everything that this camera has, but it does, it, and it has the app too, which I'm using. Both of these cameras have a great app for your phone but the difference main difference is this is a micro four thirds this is an APS-C now if you're on the budget you can't go straight to you know top of the range full frame cameras APS-C is the next best thing better low light better photo better for all photography better sensor better autofocus the autofocus on this camera eats this camera's autofocus for breakfast that Phase auto detection stuff is the best. This one is amazing. I hardly have any problems with it with autofocus. It's even lighter, surprisingly, than this. So vloggers, 
Yes, it's a shoe in. That this is the, the thing they do. Your street photography is a very small footprint. Like the camera's there. <laughs> it's me. So you know how they worry about people being all like, oh, he's taking a picture of me. Some people. But not too crazy. Um, like I said, it does have a mic jack. Everything that you need to get off the ground. Takes better photos. Better 4K quality. Even though it doesn't have uh, a stabilization. It does have digital in-body and stabilization in body stabilization in the camera so that alone and the fact that it has better auto focus what was the point of that you know kids who weird stuff I was totally random Brendan anyway but the auto focus and in body stabilization makes this a shoe in which camera would I choose M15 any day this is a great, don't get me wrong, this is a great starter camera, like I said. But if you're trying to get into this as more than just a vlogger and a video and a vlogger and you want to do videos and photos outside of YouTube, M50 is it's it's an easy choice. There's no comparison. Um, and the crazy thing is the price range. They're similar in price range. Right now you can get this with a kit with it, like with a memory card and all that stuff, about five to six hundred bucks. And this one are actually just online right now. They have them to sell where you can get like a bag, extra battery, the a lens, everything come with it for like five hundred four nine bucks. I got it for five hundred and twenty bucks with the the audio mic, a case, and the camera and the lens. So I mean you these prices are insane. They're similar. You just gotta pick which one better suits you. Save an extra 40, 50 bucks, get the M50. It's an easy choice, easy choice. But if you're strapped and you don't feel like you don't wanna get into the Canon system, which well when you way more lenses, another option for this thing you can do. It's it's Canon. Everybody knows Canon colors, you know what I'm saying? So easy choice, A or B, B, because you will outgrow this camera. That's probably the biggest complaint that I have is that after a certain point you feel like you I ain't gonna say mastered it but you've done everything you can do with this camera after a few after a year or so to be honest with you maybe that's just me um but yeah that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video hope you guys enjoyed it uh so this video a little bit longer than I want it to be but I just want to make sure that you guys understand that I'm gonna choose the MP3 or any over the G7 and uh, I'm gonna post this video on a couple other group pages that I have here too. So hopefully they get to this video and watch it so they can decide too for their own. Um, but yeah, stay tuned because I got some more videos coming for you guys. Uh, yeah, stay safe, wear your mask, wash your hands, spray sanitizer, wipe down everything. And listen, when, it's, when the quarantine is over, when the stay home order is over, don't go out immediately. Because people are still getting sick. You're going to go out to the club the same night that they lift a band. You're going to get sick. And then they're going to start it all over again. Be smart. Stay home for a little bit longer. All right? You can go out and have fun. But just don't be in a big group of people immediately. It don't make any sense. But yeah. I'll some rant for another day. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this, man. If you haven't, be sure to like and subscribe to this video. And join the B team. Hit the notification bell, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace. Oh, stay legendary. Peace. I gotta remember to do my outros. Why do I always forget how to do my own outro? It's my outro. Hey, you interrupted my video, you know that, right? <laughs>